Febby Bilstein recommends that any diagnosis and maintenance is carried out by a fully trained vehicle technician. In this video we are looking at a vehicle with suspected worn engine mountings. This is severely affecting the reduction of noise, vibration and harshness of the vehicle when it is being driven, and in this case causing excessive vibration at idle speeds and when the vehicle is pulling away. The first test was to access how much excess engine movement is being caused. This was done running the engine and engaging drive followed by reverse with the brakes applied. The excess engine rocking movement can be easily seen, however the vibration caused felt by the driver cannot. An analysis tool was required to do this. A three-axis accelerometer was placed in the passenger compartment attached to the inner seat rail fixing. The data captured is measured and calculated using NVH analysis software. The data shows the normal vibration force caused by combustion events of the engine. However, the inefficient engine dampening is shown as a high amplitude in these readings. The vehicle featured is fitted with a five-cylinder diesel engine and automatic transmission, which has four main engine mounting points. These are positioned on the top, side, front and rear of the engine. The top and side engine mounts are of a rubber metal construction and the main front and rear mountings are of a vacuum-operated hydraulic type, which gives greater damping control. All four mountings were removed and visually inspected and compared with each replacement new Phoebe engine mounting for deterioration of the rubber construction and any loss of the rubber to metal bonding properties. Any severe cracking and deterioration of the rubber affects the mounting stiffness and insulation qualities. These are held within the properties of the elastomeric material used. The rear mounting was showing to be excessively worn and the exterior rubber was severely cracked. The front and rear mountings were also tested for vacuum leaks. They both failed this operational test, proving that these mountings had deteriorated internally and externally. The NVH analysis and the visual inspection of the original mountings provided hard, objective evidence that the engine mountings on the car were long overdue of replacement. A set of new Phoebe engine mountings were fitted to the vehicle. All bolts and fixings were tightened to the vehicle manufacturer's torque settings. Once the vehicle was lowered, a final test was carried out to check if the excessive NVH characteristics had been reduced. The engine was started and the movement of the engine was inspected and also measured with the NVH software at idle speed. The engine movement and measured vibration had been greatly reduced by the replacement of the engine mounts. Finally, a road test of the vehicle was carried out to check the smoothness of its operation. The vehicle drove smoother and felt more pleasant to drive.